Hello! Welcome aboard Submarine Bakuna here at Independence Seaport Museum in Philadelphia. My name is Greg, and today we're continuing our Ask Me Anything series about the submarine by answering the question, what do submariners eat? Food in the submarine service is some of the best food you'll find not only in the U.S. Navy, but in the U.S. military as a whole. This is done as an incentive to get people to volunteer for subservice. You heard that correctly. Submarine service is a volunteer outfit only. You will never join the Navy and be assigned to a submarine, because if you cannot handle being in a steel tube for many months at a time, they don't want you there. You're considered a liability to the crew and to the ship. But to get people to interested in trying out for subservice, there are a series of incentives, and better food is one of them. Some things Bakuna's crew would have eaten include steak, eggs, pork chops, fresh fruits and veggies, and even on occasion, live lobster. Of course, fresh food doesn't last forever, so by the end of lengthier patrols, the crew were eating canned items. Bakuna typically carried enough food for 60 to 70 days at sea. That was the typical length of a patrol during World War II. During the Cold War, Bakuna could expect to spend any time between a few days to a few weeks at sea. Regardless, she would always make sure to carry enough food to last her until she was able to put back into port for resupply. Bakuna does have a refrigeration space and a freezer located below the mess deck. This would have been the main storage area for any perishables carried as part of the food supply. It is not, however, large enough for a full two months, and even if it were, fruits and veggies tend to spoil long before that even if they're kept in a refrigerator. This meant that Bakuna's crew still needed a supply of non-perishable goods in order to last the full two months at sea. This typically meant canned food. Cans were often stored on deck, sometimes stacked two or three high, so that the crew was actually walking over their meals for the first few weeks of patrol until they were able to crack open those cans and eat their way down to the deck proper. A clever submariner knew how to maximize the space aboard the boat in order to store as many cans as possible. This often included the showers. Showering aboard Bakuna was a rarity for the sake of conserving fresh water. The crew could reasonably expect a two-minute shower once a week, if they bothered at all. This meant that saving the shower for its intended use was tantamount to wasting space. And because wasted space aboard a submarine is a sin, showers were instead utilized as storage lockers for sacks of potatoes, bags of onions, and other similar items. Well, that does it for this video. If you enjoyed it, let us know by liking and sharing it. Our AMA series about Bakuna is a continuously running series, so if you have questions about Bakuna or submarines in general, leave them in the comments down below. You might see them answered in a future video. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.